There comes a time in every mad scientist's life when their invention will require capacitors. They have to look cool, show off how inventive you are, and pay homage to earlier inventors. Short bought capacitors just won't cut the mustard. No, you need to make a Leyden jar. To make a hand wipe capacitor, you're going to need the following materials. Some aluminium foil, glue, a piece of PVC pipe, and an empty hand wipe tub. You'll also need a plastic shopping bag, some insulated wire, a couple of metal washers, and the chain connection from a sink. Firstly, make sure your container is clean inside and out and free from any sticky labels. Cut one circular piece of aluminium slightly wider than the diameter of your container. I used a bowl because it was big enough for my needs. Cut slits around the edge of the circular aluminium piece. These are so you can overlap them. I cut in the same position as the hour marks on a clock face. When you've done cutting, your foil should look like a flower head with petals. Curl the petals of the aluminium until it looks a bit like a bowl. Now glue the base section into place, making sure you go part way up the wall. Now measure and cut two rectangular sheets of aluminium, big enough to wrap inside and outside of your container. Then you can put the aluminium on the inner and outer walls and glue them into place. Ensure the inner wall connection overlaps the base section. Also, make sure your aluminium foil is nice and flat against the surfaces, remove any air pockets where necessary. Next, we need to suspend a metal contact through the lid so it touches the inner aluminium. For this, I'm using the chain from a sink plug suspended from the existing hole. Put your metal washers on so that they sandwich the lid of the container and lastly, tighten your nut. This only needs to be hand tight. Now your jar is ready, it's time to charge it. For that, we're going to make what we're calling a power rod. This will both charge and discharge our capacitor. For this, I cut a length of PVC pipe and a small piece of insulated wire, stripping both ends of the wire. Then I drilled a hole right the way through one of the ends of the pipe, just big enough to fit the wire through. If you want to secure the wire, you could put a blob of silicone on the inside of the pipe over the wire, but it's not really necessary. Now your laden jar and power rod are complete, we can give it a quick test. Turn your rod around and start to rub it. I found that a piece of shopping bag works great. If you rub your rod against the hairs of your arm, you should notice that they stand up. Start by rubbing your rod until you hear the static crackle in the bag. Then run your rod past the metal bolt at the top. You'll hear the static charge transfer from the rod to the bolt. If you feed the rod through the bag as I'm showing now, it should speed up your charge time. When you're ready, touch one end of the wire to the outside foil and use the other end to touch the bolt through the lid. Depending on how long you charge the jar will determine on how impressive the spark will be. If it's very weak, then charge it for a longer period. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave it a like rating. You can also share your thoughts by leaving a comment in the comments section. Don't forget to share the link to this video using the share the link feature on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with our videos, then please click on the subscribe button. And on your screen now are two videos for you to check out if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.